Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 20th, and I'm Carmen Blackwell with your three news now morning update. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC Facebook, Instagram and YouTube pages. We start you off this morning with a check of today's weather forecast with Holly. Holly, good morning. Good morning to you, Carmen, and to you. And it's been a bright and beautiful morning, a little cold, but we're slowly seeing temperatures climb as we move through the rest of today. The other thing we're going to notice is more of a partly cloudy sky as we head into the afternoon and evening, but we're going to stay dry throughout this Wednesday. And after a couple of very wintry days, it's a welcome change for sure. Cloud cover does increase tonight and by tomorrow morning we've got rain to track, but notice temperatures are holding in the upper 40s to near 50 as we're starting off your Thursday. So it is going to be just rain. It will move out later in the day and look at these numbers warming into the 60s tomorrow and it's only only going up from there. In fact, here's a look at your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. Friday close to 60, rain chances late, and then we're going to have a warm front lift through the region that will really uh, put us in a very summer like feel as we look ahead to Saturday, Sunday. Isolated shower and storm chances, otherwise partly sunny skies. No question you'll be out and about enjoying that warm, warm weather. And then Monday scattered showers and storms before we cool it back down a bit on Tuesday, Carmen, back to you. All right, Holly, thank you so much. Developing news this morning, a Pepper Pike rabbi has been arrested and accused of trying to meet up with a 15 year old boy for sex. Investigators say he instead found himself face to face with law enforcement. This is 60 year old Rabbi Stephen Wise from B'nai Jeshron Congressional and Pepper Pike. He was arrested by the Ohio Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force. Investigators say he was trying to lure a 15 year old boy for sex through an app. However, there was no boy because investigators were posing as a child online. The task force says Weiss met them in an undisclosed location in Newburgh Heights. Weiss was arrested on the spot and charged with one count of attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a minor, one count of importuning and one count of possessing criminal tools. Weiss was released from custody yesterday after posting 10% of a $50,000 bond, but will be subject to GPS monitoring according to court records. Should he be convicted, Weiss could potentially face several years behind bars. Former Mayfield middle school teacher and high school track coach Daniel Carlson will spend up to 13 and a half years in prison. He pled guilty to multiple sex related crimes. In 2019, authorities say Carlson used fake usernames on social media to engage in sexually explicit chats and try to lure juvenile victims for sexual materials. Some of those minors were his former students. Now to some other local headlines this morning. Here are three things to know. The Delaware County Ohio Sheriff's Office has released video from an incident last Friday that caused a near panic at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Get on the ground. Body cam footage shows the 36 year old man being subdued by a police stun gun. This coming after officers say he drove around several members of law enforcement directing traffic in front of the zoo. The man says that he was just trying to pick up his wife and children. Well, he now faces several charges, including driving under the influence. A $5,000 reward is being offered now for information after a shooting that led to a little girl losing her eye after getting hit by a stray bullet. Garfield Heights police say eight year old Nyaria Green was shot in the head while sleeping in her bed last month in the area of Grand Division Avenue and East 94th Street. Nyaria is out of the hospital now and she is recovering. But please, if you have any information, call Crime Stoppers or the Garfield Heights Police Detective Bureau. An important deadline is here in the battle over Ohio's redistricting maps. A federal court gave Ohio until today to sort it out, suggesting that after today, a three judge panel could take over and start making decisions about how the state's legislative races will be run. That's including a new election date. 
The court wants new district maps for the Ohio House and the state Senate, something the state's redistricting commission has yet to agree on. And in some health news for you, a new cancer lab is coming to Cleveland. Metro Health announced renovations have started at labs and the Rammel Camp Research Center. It's to make space for what the hospital system is calling CAR T cell labs, promising, quote, to bring cutting edge treatment to cancer patients. Metro says the new labs are expected to open up in September of this year. Well, check this out. Cleveland, Ohio native Joey Kinsley, or otherwise known as Sir Yacht. He's on Twitter and he's almost done with his Cleveland World Tour, as he calls it. He's traveling to 13 cities, all named Cleveland, in 10 days. And he's also raising money for the Greater Cleveland Food Bank while he's at it. The good news this morning is that he has reached his fundraising goal. Congratulations to you, sir, and thank you. Sir Yacht helped raise over $4,000 for the food bank and just stopped in his last Cleveland over in Wisconsin. He's heading back home to Ohio today. I was just thinking about why me? Why are all of these great teachers out there? Why me? It's been so enjoyable. And like I said, I'm just getting to meet so many great people out there. Well, that was Oberlin High School history teacher Kurt Russell, who talked to us back in February when he was running for National Teacher of the Year. Well, we have some good news for you this morning. Mr. Russell, or Russ, as his students like to call him, was named the 2022 National Teacher of the Year by the Council of Chief State School Officers. Russell teaches a variety of history classes at the high school, and he also coaches basketball. He recently won Ohio's Teacher of the Year Award, and now as the nation's best, he'll be meeting with First Lady Jill Biden at the White House. Congratulations to you, Mr. Russell. Well, Cleveland is taking a step way back in time. The Jurassic World Live Tour announced it is returning to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse and tickets go on sale April 26. But the shows don't start until October 7th and they run through the 9th. The shows will include fan favorites, Velociraptor, Blue, and uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is more than 40 feet long. In all, there will be more than 24 life-size dinosaurs operated by animatronics and performers. Ticket prices start at just $15. And you'll love this one. Ice cream lovers, you can now rejoice. You'll soon have another spot to find your local favorites. Mitchell's Handmade Ice Cream says that it's going to be opening up a shop inside the Heinen's Rotunda in downtown Cleveland. Unlike most grocery stores that just sell cartons, customers will be able to get ready-to-eat scoops as they shop around. There's no set date just yet, but it's expected to be up and running by sometime in May, and we're looking forward to it. Well, thank you for taking the time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories that are making headlines around Northeast Ohio and the world. Please make sure that you continue to check out our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout your day for more news updates. I'm Carmen Blackwell, and I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Go starting at 4.30. Have a great day.